Hello everybody and welcome back to episode 51 of RimWorld. Which uh, might, might very well be the last one of this series. <laughs> what is that? What happened after I left last time? Well, I decided that I wasn't going to accept that stupid glitch or whatever happened. I sent them a bug report with that snippet of video. Wait, so where should be? When my guy, when my guy went down after taking six points of damage. Oh, six. Yeah, yeah. Good thing you were recording it. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I sent him a bug report with that snippet of video, and um, after you, uh, after you left, I. Uh, was looking around to see if there was a console or anything in the game so I could fix that problem, and I found the uh, option in the options menu for de development mode and was able to uh, force the enemies to flee. And when they tried to steal the character, I killed the one with killed the one that was trying to carry him away. So he's just kind of laying there unconscious at the moment. <laughs> I'm. Hopefully he'll recover on his own. If not, I'll re-enable that development thing and fix that too. <laughs> but that's uh, not why this might be the last series. My main base is being attacked by like six or seven guys, uh, mostly with guns. And I have three people with melee. So yeah, this could very well be the end. <laughs> of this particular one, which I'm not too terribly sad about, because I really want to do that, um, that scenario that Rattling? I was talking, that scenario, yeah, the fam family rancher scenario that I was talking about, uh, basically based on the ranch, the, the, the TV show, The Ranch. <laughs> it's going to be pretty cool, I think, and I found a lot of mods that will kind of support uh, my ideas for it. I've gonna have one that uh, gives me barn stalls and one that gives me feeding troughs and uh, better animal behavior and uh, I just want to be able to design my own character and that too like that too it? I did I did find uh, fi f f f digging around I finally found an updated version of that um, prepare carefully mod uh, so that I will be able to set up the family like I want them, uh, rather than try to roll randomly a million times and hopefully and hope I get to what I'm looking for. <laughs> I'm not sure how that'll work. I haven't enabled it yet. There are three, no, four more mods I'm actually going to enable this session because they also say they don't break saves. Uh, one of which that was the like the very first thing that I found out and was irritated the game didn't have. I'm going to have fishing. <laughs> yeah, there's a mod there. As well as water power, since we're on a shore, so may we survive this ray. What's this? Um. I don't need a debug log. I know I'm not using Steam. So, we've got uh, a fire extinguisher. Fishing. The ability to advance my tech level. Yes, so, that's a good one. So, the way this works is when you've researched all tech in, in one level, then you advance to the there? next level, or if you research half of the tech of the next level, you advance to that level. So, so I mean, if you start off with Neo, then you might as well just jump right on up. Yeah, so it should, like, advance us immediately into industrial, uh, skipping the uh, medieval altogether, because we've got, I think, half of the tech of industrial, maybe not. I mean, it would be interesting if they made it a more civilization-based approach with tons of Neo and tons of medieval tech. Yeah, we, uh, there's ours, there's some mods that, like, completely remove all the advanced stuff and uh, add a whole bunch of medieval stuff or renaissance stuff. I was actually, when I, when I was searching for a mod with, like, boats or something, uh, boats or some type of dune buggy or anything, I found one <laughs> that adds a biplane and a zeppelin. Yeah, That's exactly. Not, exa not exactly what I was looking for. I was debating it, implementing that, but I don't think so. Zeppelin! In any case, and water power. 
so I can as I build uh, power so I don't need to worry about trying to do the geothermal things by my seashore I can take water power. <laughs> Yes, restart, sure. Yeah. I've got a whole list of uh, mods downloaded for my next, uh... Yeah, enough of that. I don't need that. Go away. Alright, load. Say they don't break the save, and if they do, it's probably not too big of a deal because I don't see me surviving this anyway. I didn't see you surviving this long in the first place. I mean, you lasted a long time. Yeah, I, uh, I did. From what I read about it, I thought it was gonna be, be like a six or seven, six to ten episode series before I got creamed, but. Uh, Randy was pretty nice to me for the most part. Stole two of my guys, but, uh... <laughs> Which was mostly just me underestimating the enemy that, that attack, uh, based on what my experience with the prior attack. So the AI is quite well varied. But yeah, here we go, coming into my main base. We got a guy with a steel gladius, which is a pretty dangerous weapon, if I remember looking at it. Yeah, 12 at 195. That guy just has a club, which is fine. Incendiary launcher. Two of these guys have an incendiary launcher. No, these two. Yeah, two of them! Really glad this isn't in the forest. What does this thing do? I don't think I looked at it. 10 damage, 3 second warm up, 24 range. Ah, okay, it's not as one person, deadly as one I thought it might be. Huh? One yeah, has a wooden club. one of them has a wooden club. Two of them have a wooden club, actually. And then a heavy SMG. That's not a fancy name for a wooden club. <laughs> yeah, before you yeah, this, is, call this is six versus three, and I have no ranged. So I was saying, and uh, like I said, uh, here I start up the caravan and leave. This guy was trying to carry off my character, so I killed him with the de dev thing, and made the others flee, and. uh... Bleeding's going down. It started at like uh, 16, so it should so it should recover. I shouldn't have to enable the dev console again and do something. So, yeah. He didn't even take six damage. He took like five and point three or something. That's ridiculous. Definitely a bug there. In any case, alright, what are we going to do? First of all, we're going to pull the animals in somewhere safe so they don't just start attacking all my animals. I need to force them into a close quarters battle. I don't know if I want to take them back to my main base, or they might try to attack my garden. It actually might be a decent place to set up in here. Another mod I'll be using in the next one is uh, one called uh, Simple Sidearm, so you can have a secondary weapon along with your primary one. That way I don't have to keep switching <laughs> between melee and range to have this assault rifle sitting here at the doorway. <laughs> she would actually be able to use the assault rifle and have the spear as a backup. She can kind of do range. I've been having her shoot a little bit, but she's way better with melee. <laughs> Mostly shooting for hunting, because you can't melee for hunting. <laughs> ah, in any case, so... What was, 
Let's see, areas, animals. Shelter area is just that little one that I had the cat using. Area three, I think that was the one I was going to see. No, that's the alpaca loading zone in there. Okay, I made a four. Yeah, and I hadn't designated yet, because I wanted to try to figure out where I wanted to send my animals. Uh, so yeah. Let's go ahead and designate animal area four. To just send them into my main room. We're gonna make a mess, but we can clean it up. I just need them out of here so the guys don't just start killing off all my animals. So everybody to animal area 4. Uh, now, I don't remember if it said they were attacking immediately or if they were preparing for a while. Meliot, okay, they're attacking immediately. Meliot, okay, wait. Meliot attacking power conduit. Would that be probably right here? Mainly attacking wooden horseshoe pen. That's all the way back in front of my base. Igniting the wind turbine. No, that ain't happening. Igniting it. Ouch. Attacking power conduit, melee attacking granite wall. <laughs> Good luck with that. I'm gonna beat on a granite wall with a awful wooden club. I don't think you're yeah. getting anywhere. Or at least you shouldn't be getting anywhere. A club shouldn't be able to. A wooden club shouldn't be able to do shit to a rock wall. You'd be surprised. You've been surprised. Uh, if it was halfway realistic, I'd say it should not. If it is, that's another programming derp again. Seriously, wooden club versus rock wall, you're just gonna break your club. <laughs> Mainly attacking wind turbine. Okay, so two of them are going for the power conduit, two for the wind turbine. I don't know which granite wall he's gonna attack, and one for the horseshoe pen. <laughs> So, if I wait behind here and fight the ones that are going for the wind turbine, I don't really care about the conduits, so they can be easily replaced. Or the horseshoe pin. <laughs> so maybe I can just attack the two that are going for the wind turbine. Then it's three on two instead of three on six. That should be a little bit more doable. Alright, everybody up and at them. <laughs> Up as much as I hoped. Why did you change your mind about something? 
strongly attacking wind turbine. 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 And so three of them are going after turbine. They're still after the horseshoe pin. The power conduit. shit with it. Okay. So this so might, yeah. be, <laughs> might be a little more doable than I thought. I wish I, I, wish I didn't notice that Ian was in the front. What are you doing? You're attacking the battery now. I love how the computer really has, a tr has trouble figuring out what things are attacking. It tells me they're attacking one thing and then they end up attacking something else. Alright, so... Okay... Here... Scylla... And Ian also. Awesome! Now you guys are attacking him. Whoa! Ooh, there comes the club guy too. Is the other one coming? Yeah, they weren't exactly far enough away. Come on, take him down. Take him down, take him down. Okay, uh, he goes down. And... Jay has been beat to death? So, okay, yeah. Damn it. Nice hitting your own guy. <laughs> They're fleeing! We won! I mean, I don't know how, but we did. Question mark. Hit with that. What are you using? 
You have no weapon! What? What happened to your weapon? Did the weapon break or something? What? Uh, pretty sure I had him using a pretty good quality spear. Should not have broken. by your own guy's incendiary launcher than I did. I think that's the reason I won. It's because the guys with the incendiary launchers burned up their own people rather than me. <laughs> uh, yeah, slothful. 35% speed bound. No, no. Imagine <laughs> merit. That's not of any interest to me. And Get it? Uh, Rotten yeah. meat? <laughs> You're dead. looking for in, when I was looking around at the mods is something to fix the stupid damage system. I mean, how much health does the average character have? Well, let's buy body part. <laughs> See, the right clavicle has 25 hit points, the torso has 40, the shoulder has 30, Rib has only eight. So yeah, each body part has its own hit points. There's, but yeah, there's. I mean, he took some pretty serious damage, but there is no reason he should be dead. That's just to the arm, so that doesn't really matter. Two damage should. Cracks a rib. Took a hell of a hit to his leg. But none of this should be lethal. Because if it, because it, because with the way the body parts have been broken up, if it, if if the spear like hit a lung or something, it would say also lung instead of just torso. I don't get it. Oh, here. I haven't even hit this guy. He just got <laughs> torched by his own teammate. Burns, 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 burns. Okay, and how are you looking? Death in 15 hours. Set left leg destroyed. Ah, oh my god. Yeah, this, see, the, the damage system in this game just makes no sense. He lost his entire leg. And he's still limping around. Took down an enemy like that. So how the hell did six damage two to one part and four to another part, not even six, it was like three point something to the other one, down the other guy. That was just like totally glitch. All right, go I don't know, maybe it's just hyper to do. All right, go lay down. I'll hopefully get Sella to tend to you. How's she looking? Lost her thumb. Severe blood loss. Uh, but I need 
need her to finish putting out that fire first. And we can also bring that back with us. Yeah, we're gonna let you go. I'm more concerned about the fire. What are you doing, Sella? Fleeing? Put the fire- what the hell? Not much fire left, you can just put it out, and then you can run away. What is with this fleeing stuff? If they're not drafted, they just run away from everything? Except for fire. If they're an animal, they will never just run away from fire, apparently. Right. So grab this med and head back to the med bay. get there very slowly limping along with his one leg. Where are you going? Oh god, no, don't go all the way around. You can go across the sand. Go the and take a more direct route. Really? Okay, that's better. <sighs> well, it wasn't quite the end. I lost Jay. That was pretty dangerous. I'm surprised I survived it. Uh, only did because uh, they mostly hit themselves. Remember, kids, friendly fire isn't. Cat, wolf, and everything else. Yeah, you can lay down for a bit uh, until I am gets there. So there's an interesting new potential commander coming out with this next, uh, magic set. Oh. Yep. Eight mana, seven six, with vigilance, trample, and haste. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, reveal the top that many cards of your library. Put all dinosaur cards revealed this way onto the battlefield, and the rest randomly on the bottom of your library. Hey, the other guy got up and, and immediately went to sleep. So All right, like, you get you get the best medicine we've got. Uh, and so uh, so you're like, if someone it. happens to be open, you not only hit them for seven commander damage, but you can get quite a few dinosaurs out into play instantly. Which you know, fun. destroyed limb that stops the bleeding. Where are you going? Feeding a meal to Ian? Um, Alright, but why don't you actually lay down and let him tend to you now? Actually clean up first. really going to matter until you stop bleeding. So, lay down. Yeah. Stop bleeding and then... Attend to Zella. What's she on? She is on full. She's just got bruises, cuts, and a thumb cut off. 
Uh, wait, what was cut off? A thumb. Oh. Hey, if it's in your dominant hand, that really messes you up. Did we get that, Gladius? I hope we did. Is that this? Yes, we got that, Gladius. Well, I bet you could be glad at this. Those that so is a nice pass. Unfit those so you can get a meal as soon as you're done tending. Actually, we've got survival meals there. But leave the berries alone, get a survival meal. Aquaculture, that would be fishing, right? 
produce your own oh no, aquaculture baits. Well, that's indoor fishing. Uh, oh god, really? Fire extinguishers over here? Our tech level's medieval. So that's nice. Not there, is there like, like one medieval, medieval thing, thing that you can get? Yeah, because there's, there's lots, lots and lots of industrial, industrial stuff. stuff. Yeah, there is. Uh, let's see. What's, What's the medieval, medieval stuff, stuff that you can get? I don't see anything that says anything about um, fireball. Uh, Hydroelectric. Uh, no. Maybe that's something. Oh, is that smithing? smithing? Do you have yeah, to get smithing. smithing? Smithing is medieval. Mending is industrial. industrial. So smithing Indu is like the only thing that's left that's medieval. I'd say just get that. And do you need mending now before you can get electricity? Uh, before you should be able to get electricity? I don't think so. I mean, that's kind of how it works for all of these, right? You need electricity before you get batteries, or AC, I, I, or refining. I think, I, I think it just got put in a weird spot. Uh, so I think you need electricity to get mending. It probably uses electricity at, on the bench. Are you sure? Well, because it's got a blue line from electricity to mending, just like all the blue lines here. Or if we look at something that we've already... Like, we've got the microelectronics, which gives the blue lines to there. But they also give a blue line in both directions. Hmm. I guess we'll find out in the next one, really. Yeah, I guess, but yeah, we can definitely switch to... Well, how, how much have we got left on our hospital bed? We've got... 2,000. we got 2,000, so yeah. So, and this should make it go double speed. Oh, hey, base cost 2,000 comes 4,000 to the tech level. If we get smithing, that we'll should have be it already. Yeah. Done. Yeah, that's right. All right, so we'll switch to smithing. Yes. Figure out how to melt metals together. Um, Can you make a sword? So power. Stove. Uh, that's probably from the camping thing. Yeah, that sounds, sounds like it. Like Fishing pier. Fishing pier on mud. Which are useful as you saw. Oh, geothermal, you would be able to use those. You know, I, I added that water thing because I figured that uh, it would be a lot easier to build a water plant to, like, right off of my base here rather than try to build a geothermal plant way 
the frick up here and run a cable all the way down here. Care for it. I mean, you could just make geothermal plants and just put them, fuck them up to random turrets. Make a geothermal thing on the hotspot and then just tear it. So maybe. So if some enemy tries to walk by, you'll just kill them. So maybe there's a problem with the hydropower thing. I have to look at it in between episodes. Okay, so I am bringing in food. Combat's harvesting rice. Cooking sent her noise. Cooking simple meal. How much my rice do we have so far? 163. How much did we need? I think it was like 290 some. Oh, 854. I might not even have planted enough. No, 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 you did plant enough, just wasn't a lot of it destroyed by fire. And what's all that green stuff? Well, no, the whole field got destroyed by fire, and then I immediately replanted it. What's all that green stuff? More growing rice or something? Yeah. Once that's all done, you should have enough. Maybe. Hopefully. But growth rate is 0%. Is that just because it's nighttime or because it's something else? Yeah, it needs, needs light level 51%. It's night. This is a problem. Oh. Oh, holy crap! We left the door open when we came home from the store! I'm freezing here! <laughs> I find that happens sometimes, so it's like a summer day or something, so I leave the window open, and then, like, I wake up the next day, it's like... minus 50? Oh, not maybe seven, you but like... You're up. You need, to, you need to get on the way. To get down here to combat because he can't haul anything and kind of got a pro power problem without being able to haul. Uh, let's go ahead and unforbid. Like, unforbid. That's your knife. You need to pick that up. Alright. Um, where was that? Oh, oh, you're on your way up. Oh, that's right. I was going to send Stella down there. And now I've only got three people, though. There, and I don't. Maintain two locations with only five people. I don't. Well, maybe. I don't know. Reform the caravan. Yeah, it's taking all their packages. Seal. Going to take the survival meals. Going to take the berries. Going to take the pistol, I guess. Mm, let's see, the human corpse? That's the raider that I kill, that I kill with the <laughs> dev council. I'm pretty sure I've still got, uh... I don't know, I took the other corp- I took the colonist corpse down there and buried him, that's right. We need to bury Jay here. <laughs> Jay is completely dead. Yep. Where's Sella? Where's Ian? Shouldn't Ian be resting? No, Ian's fully recovered and just hopping around on Is one that? leg, taking care of everything. 
Can't you give him like a? Oh, wait, wait, operations. Yeah, I remember that it said I could give him a peg leg, but I need somebody to do that. And I don't know if I want to have Sella do that in her condition. Probably need to wait till she recovers. She isn't that good with medicine as it is. Her bitch, are you any better when you get here? No, you're not. I don't think I can have Ian give himself a peg leg. <laughs> yeah, you never know. Just give him some rub. Give him some rub. <laughs> Look at him just trucking along, hauling berries into feed cellar. One leg. <laughs> She definitely needs it too. And I and he can't haul, so I can't have him bury Jay. I need her to do it. your weapon. I know you had a pretty darn good quality spear. Here's something that would be good, a search function on the map, so you can just like, pull up a thing, type in spear, and it'll pull up all of the spears on the map. So you don't have to click through all of your storages, you just, spear, boof! Watch the video? <laughs> That sounds painful. Where's that Gladius? Right there. Come get this Gladius. Someone died with a simple meal. Such simple choice in life. This looks like it's going to take a while. It, is, it, rain, it rains like all the freaking time except when I have a fire problem. 
Well, maybe it does rain when you have fire problems. It just doesn't tell you about them because the rain is dealing with them. Maybe you have fire problems all the time. Very professional. Quite, yes. No, no. Was, was there only 600 some or was it 800 some? I thought it was 600 some. Construction ability. Hopefully, she's right handed. Oh, okay, I need to close that freaking door. Yes, close the door. Someone just. We oh still have that patch of water in the kitchen, just... You know, if you're cooking and cause a fire, I mean, at least that'll be just fine.
things. Oh wait, 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 wait. What is that plus three for what? My rival J died. And look at one of the minus fives. J deprived. Joy deprived. <laughs> yeah, I know that was just my usual joke. But this allies the So she can perform on Ian and give him a new leg. Our special little tomb. Malaria. Who has malaria? Jade door? Oh, you can also, like, make a special casket or whatever if you wanted to. Or use one of the cryosleep cards. You could probably put them in there. Yeah, sarcophagus. Not right in the middle? Yeah, just build it out of the... Oh, oh, build it out of the freezer, if you can. I mean, then they'll take... Hold on, hold on. Then they'll take... Well, I mean, you... Hold on, hold on. Just think about it right here, okay? Just north of the freezer, you can have a little tiny room, and then just have, like, the, uh, fishing going right off of that. 
People catch the fish, throw them straight into the freezer. Totally have enough room for it, and then people can just fish right out of there, and then just right away throw stuff right in. Exactly, it's one of my ideas. It is absolutely brilliant. Not really, no. 